Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I am going to be doing a bargain or bust, and I'm actually going over the beauty page for the Nordstrom anniversary sale. So if you wanna know whether the deals that they have are a bargain or just a complete bust, like you need to skip them, then just keep watching. So if you don't know what the Nordstrom anniversary sale is, basically annually they have this really amazing sale where they put brand new for the season items on sale for a limited time. And then actually when the sale is over, the items go back to full price. So you can get really trendy in season items for a pretty good discount most of the time. I'm a big Nordstrom person. I've shopped at Nordstrom for as long as I can remember. So I've definitely participated in these sales a lot. Today we're focusing mostly on beauty, but I highly encourage you to check out every other avenue they have amazing clothes amazing shoes all that if i was a fashion channel i would definitely cover that as well side note if my eyeshadow looks a little funky and unblended i kind of struggled with this palette today but i'm gonna film anyways also my eyelashes are crooked and one is drooping which makes my eye look like this i'm embarrassed to have a makeup channel <laughs> So opening up a Nordstrom app, I have the anniversary sale early access page pulled up and we are going to go just start into makeup. A lot of times for makeup, the brands curate special palettes or items or bundles specifically for this sale. So as you can see, the first thing that we have is this Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Secret Set. So this is going to be $68. It is, wow, 3,000 people viewing it right now. By the way, forgot to mention this. If you aren't a Nordstrom card holder, the sale opens to the public August 19th, but until then, if you have a card, obviously different dates open. I think for me, I can start shopping August 7th. Okay, so anyways, back to this. So it looks like in here you get a lip cheat liner and pillow talk, one of my most used, the Matte Revolution Lipstick in Pillow Talk Classic, and then the Pillow Talk collagen lip bath. I mean, I think if you like Pillow Talk and you don't have this, this is a good time to get it. I own everything besides the lip collagen bath, but the Pillow Talk lipstick and lip liner are staples for me in my collection. So for that reason, I would say that this is worth it. It still is pricey. You're not getting a huge discount, but if you've been interested in the Pillow Talk like lip set or anything Pillow Talk as far as the lips go, this is a good set to go for. I don't think $68 is a bargain by any means, but it sets you up and it's the best way to do it. Right next to it, we have the Bobbi Brown Easy Essentials Eye Lip and Cheek Set. It's $79. I've got to be honest, you guys. I like Bobbi Brown. I'm a huge Bobbi Brown fan but this to me just looks very underwhelming. I think $80 is a lot for this, so I'm gonna say it's a bust unless it really is something that you're <laughs> interested in. I can't speak on the quality on this, but yeah, I'm not really interested in that, so that for me is going to be a bust. We have a couple other Bobbi Brown things, and like I said, I really am a Bobbi Brown stan. Like, I feel like they have such good wearable colors. The one that I actually think is a bargain is this one on the right, the Full Size Crush lip duo. These look beautiful. I love these colors. What color? Crushed lipstick in Sazen and then an oil infused lip gloss in Free Spirit. I actually really like their lipstick formula and I think this is a really pretty color. So if you like Bobbi Brown and you're looking for an everyday wearable kind of color, this one is a bargain in my opinion. The one on the left, the lip tint duo, $30. Never tried the formula of this, but it doesn't really interest me and I think I like color. I'm not a huge lip tint person, so for me, that lip duo with actual color is the actual bargain here, and it looks like a gorgeous color. Lexi brushes, I'm seeing a lot of these sets. Uh, you can get these sets for a pretty affordable price elsewhere. It is a good deal and I actually really do like Luxie brushes. The Luxie 229, I used it today. This is an amazing tiny little brush that I use all the time. I wonder if it's in here. It's not, but I do like the Luxie brush set. So if you're looking for good synthetic hair brushes that are affordable, I highly recommend them. I'm not gonna say this is a bargain. It's a pre-existing set that honestly, you can get any other time of the year. But if you're looking for brushes, I do recommend Luxie. And then we have the Too Faced Plump Lips and Sexy Lashes Duo. I wouldn't recommend this. I mean, if you like the Better Than Sex Mascara, I mean, it's nice to get a little added bonus for a few extra bucks, but I don't really 
really like Lip Injection Extreme. I have it. It's just a clear gloss. I mean, it does kind of irritate your lips to make them like a little bit bigger, but uh. I don't really recommend it. MAC always has for these sales a little mini lipstick kit. Just be aware. These lipsticks are tiny. So this is $32. And I do think that these are good deals. So here you have some good colors. Velvet Teddy is a classic. I don't know the other colors, but it looks like they're quite nice colors. Again, if you don't have a big lip collection, this is a good way to go to try out different colors, especially if you're not quite as familiar with what lip colors you like on yourself. It's good to get a pack. Beauty Blender has a double beauty blender set and a cleanser for $35. This I would say is a bargain if you are a beauty blender lover. I'm assuming these are too normal. Yeah, I mean they're $20 alone and you get a cleanser. <sighs> I mean, it's not that great of a deal, but if you use your beauty blenders, every little bit counts. You have a couple MAC Fix Pluses for $35. This is also a pretty good deal. If you go through your Fix Pluses, I feel like a lot of us in our collection nowadays, we just have so many setting sprays that this is not that good of a deal. But again, if you stick to those, that's really good. Let's see, we have this MAC Love Me Lip Kit for $35. $54 value. If you like the color, that's a good way to go, but it doesn't look like anything special to me. The Too Faced Hangover Set Refresh Set. I don't know if this spray is good or not, so I can't really speak on that. The primer is one of my all-time favorite primers ever. This is $39. Just know that it's there. I don't necessarily know if it's actually a bargain or anything. I've never tried these Lip Maestros from Giorgio Armani, but you have these for $42. This looks like a really good deal. I think they are minis. This is something that I would be interested in trying because I've never tried this formula and you get three colors. It's not interesting enough for me to actually pick up. But if you like this formula or you're looking into this formula, that's not a a bad deal. Still $42 though. Stock up on your Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray. Oh, it looks like MAC has a face palette out here. This is $42. These are very good colors. I don't think this palette is super unique by any means, but I'm going to assume this was exclusively for the sale, or at least at the moment, this is the only place you can buy this palette. It's pretty plain, but $42 isn't bad for a face palette with that many face products. Now, this is one that I always buy pretty much every year, these Brow Basic Kits. I love the ABH Brow Wiz. It's one of my favorite eyebrow pencils, and I use it in my makeup kit also when I do bridal makeup, so that should tell you something, and then I've used the clear brow gel literally since I was like 14 years old. So this is one of the better bargains for sure. This is $27. You get both. You're basically buying one, getting one free. That's one that I recommend the most. So if you're looking for one of the best deals, I get that one basically every single year. We have a MAC eyeshadow kit with an eyeliner, a mascara, and two different palettes. Looks like there's a warm and a cool. Ugh, these are boring to me, but they're there, but that's how I feel about a lot of the things typically with the Nordstrom event as far as beauty goes. Sometimes they're just kind of there. Nothing really special. Trish McAvoy. Hmm. I have a Laura Mercier loose setting powder and primer. I've never tried the primer, but $49. The powder is really good. Again, it's just kind of there. We have another Giorgio Armani set. Laura Mercier lip trio. Okay, this one really excited me. This is a YSL Little Mini Lipstick Kit. Very, very luxe. I love it. And it's $56. It, I'm, at the end of the day, it's still $56. But it hurts to buy just one YSL lipstick for such a hefty price. So I love the little lipstick sets that they have in these sales. And the colors here look really nice. And you can get a taste of the YSL lip line with this set. I mean, usually, of course, the travel sizes are like very, very tiny. But if you have a lot of lipsticks, you know, you don't need that much anyways, but these always excite me. I would say that those are a bargain. We have some caviar eye color trios from Laura Mercier. I haven't tried those. An hourglass veil mineral primer and translucent setting powder duo. Is this full size though? It's a travel size translucent setting powder. So make sure you look closely, but you get a full size veil mineral powder. That's $59. What's the value on this? Oh, uh, 
It doesn't even say the value. I've never tried the primer, but if you like the primer. Ooh, okay, you guys see, I always love the Dior sets or not even just Dior in general, but I love when they come with these little cheap pouches, but they're Dior, so you feel a little bit more bougie. Dior has this professional volumizing mascara kit. The fact that it's mascaras doesn't really interest me at all, and to be honest, I don't like having a lot of mascaras open at once, and I'm good for now. So for me, that's not really a bargain, but that's there. Lancome, if you like their mascaras, the Definissos, you get two of them of the same and a primer and a makeup remover. To be fair, everything in this kit is good, but again, I wouldn't recommend buying so many mascaras at once. Like all of, it looks like Lancome's trying to duplicate these sets. I wouldn't suggest it personally. Oh, some new stuff has been added since I've last checked. The YSL Summer Skin Duo, this is $68. Ooh, I, this is a good deal. So you get a Touche Eclat Blur Primer and then an all over glow powder, which is supposed to be a highlighter. I don't have this, so I can't speak on that. But that primer alone is so expensive. That's kind of a bargain. I'm actually very interested in that and it comes in a cute box. Again, Dior with a super cute pouch. They kind of use the pouch as an excuse to up the price. But for me, this is a set that I would be interested in. You get the cute little Dior pouch. And then what do we have? The Lip Maximizer, a Lip Glow to Max Hydrating Color Reviver Lip Balm and a Lash Primer. I like that set. Don't necessarily know that it's a bargain, but I like it. Okay, here is one that I was heavily, heavily eyeing. I'm going to treat myself to one beauty set this year. This one is a contender. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Glowing Gorgeous Eye Secret Set. It is $70. So in here, you're getting two eyes to memorize, like a cream shadow, golden eclipse, and star gold. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think these are new colors, but again, I could be incorrect. And then a mascara. So this interests me because I've never tried a Charlotte Tilbury mascara. I would love to have, like just to at least experience it because I have so much Charlotte Tilbury in my collection and I do love her little cream shadows and I don't have those colors if they even exist. So I want that a lot. I think $70 is a decent deal. So I'm eyeing that one. YSL has another lip trio for $72. That's kind of expensive. Are they full size though? One deluxe size and two full size. Okay, that's a lot better of a deal. Oh no, that doesn't really interests me. Giorgio Armani has this glow set. A fluid sheer, luminous silk hydrating primer, and then a little mini lip maestro. If you like those products, that is actually quite a bargain. $112 value, but the problem is with these sets, I feel like they know. You know, they're not going to put stuff that you actually need all of. It's just the overall value looks really good. So I wouldn't get that because it doesn't really interest me. Like, not all of the products anyways. Here was another contender you guys uh tom ford eye color quad and mini lip color set his mini lips are expensive as it is this is 88 dollars, so that's the price of one quad i don't have this quad this is in the shade burnished amber and then you have the two deluxe mini lip colors scarlet rouge casablanca 126 dollar value this again is another one of the bargains i think so i'm eyeing this i'm eyeing the charlotte tilbury the colors in this specific set would be so gorgeous for the fall, which is coming up. I really like that set. I would recommend that. Okay, so what I'm seeing right now, new lash. I used to have zero eyelashes. I'm half Asian. Asian people typically, not all the time, but we have very straight, thin lashes. I got that gene. So I started using new lash last year, and while my lashes are still quite tiny, they have grown immensely, and I will never stop using a lash serum. I use new lash. So I got this set last year as well. I will get it this year again. $95 is very expensive, but this set is a really good deal because it's basically buy one to to get another one free. I promise you this stuff works. It does take a little bit of time to see results, but my lashes grew with this. I refuse to go off because I don't want my eyelashes to shrink, but I really recommend that. That's a set that I always do. Um, They also have a new brow, which I'm sure works good, but these deals are really good because it's like buy two, get one free, or buy one, get one free. I can't speak today. Trish McAvoy. Nobody talks about this brand on YouTube. This was the brand that my mom used to growing up. She owned everything Trish McAvoy, and she loves these sets. They do have good sets, uh, but I don't really like their products that much. A MAC Mini Lip Glass Trio. It sounds like something I'll never use. Becca Backlight Filter. These are all on sale items. Ooh, these are good. The YSL Rouge Shine Lipstick Set 
for $48. What's the value here? $76. If you like the colors here, this is a good way to kind of just get a discount to get a couple colors. Only if you like the colors would I recommend that though. Okay, so we are at the bottom and this I was actually considering getting. This is a set of seven washable cosmetic cloths I need to get on this bandwagon and use these, but then I feel like I, I don't do laundry enough to... <laughs> to wash those so that's my problem okay so that is everything for the makeup section i think this year there really isn't that much that is standing out to me if i'm being honest there is a few things but eh. <laughs> so for the most part i would say the stuff's kind of a bust it's just like i said products that they put together to make you think it's a good value but in reality you don't want like one or two of the products in the bundle anyways so that's how i feel is there anything in bath and body I mean, nothing really that I can speak well on. Skincare, potentially. Clarins, Kiehl's. Fresh has a very nice cleanser. There's sets worth, worth looking into. Oh, here's really good. This is, I saw this this morning. Bobbi Brown Full Size Vitamin Enrich Face Base duo so it's literally buy one get one free these are $60 alone so if you use this primer stock up baby this is such a bargain you guys I have one I use it I like it but I don't need to be stocked up on it I won't be getting that but that is a bomb.com deal Chantakai has some skincare Chantakai has very nice skincare they started off as a skincare brand Mario Badescu La Mer which is overpriced skincare Okay, not skincare, makeup, anything in hair care. This is me shopping for myself. You guys are just along for the ride. Mm, scrunchies. Do I need a new curling iron? Mm, I really like dry bar stuff. They have good stuff. Okay, so I'm not getting anything really in makeup. I'm trying not to look into like the clothes and the accessories and stuff because that's where it'll get me. But just so you can see what I know for a fact I'm buying, there's this pair of sneakers. I hope they show up quickly. So last year, I actually bought a really cute pair of snake print boots or booties, I guess. And then I never wore them like more than once. Reason being because of my job, that's just not appropriate attire for my job. So this year, I'm not going to buy myself any cute booties like I did last year so they don't get used. But I will be buying this. How cute is this? These Adidas sneakers and Adidas has my favorite sneakers I swear they're the most comfy Take it from somebody who wears sneakers all day every day for their job and how cute are these this print? So this is what I was planning on purchasing this and maybe one other makeup kit and then the new lash Which equates to be a lot of money still but yeah So let me know if you guys are shopping the sale. What are you planning on getting? I hope you guys enjoyed this video hanging out with me and browsing through the pages of Nord if you aren't subscribed to my channel already, I would love it if you would consider taking the time to do so and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. Have a good one